I mean, uh, as far as play, player recruitment has gone this season, it's been maybe a big change for us. Uh, we're generally putting together a, a whole new squad, and for the last three years, it's been well, it's been difficult. You, you know, it's starting from scratch every year, and you don't know what you're getting. Um, but that run we went on last year, and um, you know, guys get treated well in Fife, and 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 players players learn that. Um, so we've had a big interest in coming back this year, and that's helped. It's helped immensely. Um, and when you're only recruiting for a couple spots, um, it makes it more of an exclusive club. Maybe more, you know, players out there start to wonder, well, you know, we we want to be a piece of this. Um, but it, it's been it's been a lot different. So it's been on that side of uh, things. Uh, the summer has been a lot less hectic. Um, and you know, as far as getting guys back, like uh, Matt Reber. Um, you know, I've made comments, uh, you know, about his speed, um, what, what he brings to the table. Bobby Chamont, uh, the, the times that he's, uh, since he's joined the club, put up incredible numbers for us. Um, and uh, maybe a little heavily criticized. He was still averaging a point a game, and uh, but people expect more of him. That's what happens when you're a goal scorer. Um, and, and he said it himself. He, he, he can be streaky at times. Um, but... Uh, a lot about uh, Bobby uh, behind the scenes is, you know, he brings our dressing room together. Uh, he, he's a catalyst to, in that regard. Um, so, very popular with his teammates. So uh, Bobby Bobby certainly helps out. Chris Wands um, and is another player that we wanted to attract back. Um, he had a, you know, a, a difficult second half of the season um, with, um, you, you know, not getting the ice time. Uh, that he was accustomed to and it was a difficult on me as well uh, sitting down not only uh, a teammate of mine but uh, you know a good friend but we we made decisions uh, that we thought were best for the club uh, subsequently talked to Wando in the summer he's in great shape and wants to come back and uh, he wants to be part of this club uh, Kyle Horn um, he's been in a, he's been in the club for years and years and years uh, the year after I came and uh, and it's been with us virtually ever since except for the few years that we dipped out of the the top flight um, but a very experienced defenseman um, he knows that he's getting a little on uh, in hockey player age but I think Kyle has a, 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 an awful lot to offer us I think he realizes that he has to come into camp in good shape he's much more effective for, for us when he's in shape and I can use him for a lot of minutes um, and our announcement today is Thomas Muir um, Thomas Muir is really, um, he's, he's been another player who's been around for a long, long time, but he's really, uh, I'm not sure the expression, like a baptism by fire, so to speak. He's always, he's always going to be looked at uh, under the microscope, and, and, and er any error he makes um, is always pointed out to him, uh, rather than a lot of the positive stuff that he brings to the table. Um, but I certainly think uh, last year, if he hadn't done it before, last year he silenced a lot of his critics. Uh, he came out, um, had a fantastic season, really upped his game, uh, his consistency, and, and had one of the strongest seasons I've seen him play. And I think that that's something that we have to uh, expect from him now. Um, he's matured. Um, he has the respect of his teammates out there. He doesn't have anything to prove to anybody. Um, now he can come out and enjoy his hockey and play, and, and hopefully we get that out of him this season. Uh, and I have no doubt that we will. Uh, young Beanie um, came in with a great attitude last year, um, wanted to be part of the team, uh, really worked his way into it, sat there, didn't complain. Um, and, uh, you know, the guys were really sticking up for him, felt that he deserved to get a chance, and he was going to get, he, he, well, he was getting his chance. Um, and then, unfortunately, broke his wrist. Um, and uh, that really was a setback for him. Um, but he wants to be part of it again. He's doing the work. He, he's coming back. And uh, I think we'll probably see Beanie feature in more games for us this year, which is what we want if we're going to develop him and turn him into an elite player. And Scooney, uh, we thought we were losing him at the end of the season last year. Um, you know, we thought he was going to go up north and get himself a job, and uh, he was going to get on with his career. And uh, we certainly... Uh, would never hold him back from that, but uh, I'm quite pleased that uh, he's got a, he's managed to find a job locally, which is going to be suitable for hockey hours and is going to allow him to play for us. Uh, he's another local guy that uh, needs to play, 
um, and uh, he'll be fighting for spots. Um, all these guys, uh, you know, there is spots limited. Um, you know, we have uh, a lot of import forwards. Um, Jamie Wilson, Stephen Gunn um, up front. And uh, these guys generally uh, eat up the lion's share of our ice. But what will happen is uh, we need these guys to come on and progress and uh, get, these guys, uh, get these guys playing as regulars and elite fixtures. And uh, hopefully that happens this season. We had, you know, 11 good imports last year um, that all brought something to the table. Um, but you always have to look to improve. And we made a couple tough decisions, and uh, we'll be making a few what we want to call upgrades. Um, we certainly need them to be upgrades if we want to compete. We know that teams have improved. Teams are consistently, um, consistently um, looking to better themselves. And although we were arguably one of the better teams in the league at the end of last season, there's still room for improvement. We still need to push on if we want to ever lift any silverware in this league. We still need to um, really find that consistency over a course of a season if, if you want to be uh, a team that's reckoned with, uh, you, you know, all the time. And uh, we're hoping that, uh, you know, a couple upgrades uh, will do that for us. Yeah, I mean, I, w I was talking to my boss the other day and uh, brought up a great point. We never complain about the fixtures when we're winning. We only complain about the fixtures when we're losing. Uh, I uh, had a good good look at the fixtures. Um, it's a tough start, Coventry, Coventry, back-to-back uh, -back Sheffield, and uh, Dundee. So it's going to be a it's going to be a tough test right off the bat. But w we had said by bringing back this group of uh, individuals that we should come out and, and theoretically pick up where we left off. Um, we're hoping that's the case. Uh, any new guys that we bring in, um, it, it'll be very few. Um, so. We don't have a whole team to go through, just uh, finding line combinations, maybe in some exhibition games. Uh, and hopefully um, we come out of the gate running, uh, flying this year and, uh, and, and enjoy the success we had at the end of last season.